Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all of my new and old favorite body products. So it's going to be body scrubs, shower gels, body lotions, body creams, uh, body oils, everything. So I figured I would just kind of lump everything together with some new discoveries that I've really been enjoying as well as some like old classic favorites that I've loved for years. Let's first start with like a semi newish and it's the Vaseline Intensive Care Spray Moisturizer in Aloe Soothe. So I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this already. I adore this spray moisturizer. It's super lightweight. So you just kind of like spray it on. It's a very, very fine mist and it smells really fresh like a spa, like cucumber and aloe. And I love it because I can get out of the shower and just for the ease of it, you can just spray all over. And by the time I'm done brushing my teeth, everything's already like dry and absorbed. Sometimes I'll just like run my hand over it and it just instantly absorbs. It's never sticky or tacky when I try to get dressed afterwards. And there's some very few body lotions that I can use some here and there that I can get dressed afterwards, but sometimes they're just too heavy and too rich, but this is perfect. And I've been loving it using it this summer. All right. The next product is a long time favorite, just a different scent that I'm using now, but I've been using the dove body washes for years. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it a million times. I've always been drawn to the sensitive skin, the non-scented one, which I really enjoy. I love the texture of the Dove body washes just because it's very rich and creamy and doesn't really give like super tons of lather, but it just really helps to hydrate my skin and make it feel real smooth and soft. Um, this one is their dry oil moisture that just came out. I'm almost done with this one. So I have a backup of my sensitive skin one. That's really great if you just are looking for a non-fragrance, non-scented body wash. I mean, the Dove ones are good. You know, the scented ones are just as great as well. But if you specifically want one that's non-scented and no fragrance, but really rich and hydrating, that's a great option, as well as this one from First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Wash. This is has no scent to it, and it's really... It's not as thick as the Dove, but just a little bit underneath it, but it really helps to kind of soothe and nourish the skin. I love using this in the winter, especially when my skin gets very like, itchy and dry and uncomfortable. This one I really uh, reach for. But like I said, if you want something that doesn't have any scent to it and is designed for more like irritated, sensitive, maybe eczema prone skin, this one is great. All right, and a slightly older favorite, not super, super old like my Dove, but speaking of sensitive skin, the Tatcha Indigo Soothing Body Butter. This is absolutely fantastic for very sensitive, very irritated, very dry skin. It's very healing. So the indigo in it makes it very healing. It's very rich though. So I definitely recommend... Um, you know, using it in the winter, or you could use it in the summertime, but it definitely is a little bit richer than like a thin body lotion, but it does amazing things to help heal the skin, soothe it, calm it. And it has a slight scent to it, but not overly heavily fragranced. All right, this is an older favorite from um, Ahava, and it is their dry oil body mist. Now, I really love this one because there are some dry oils that are, you're like, it's a dry oil, but then you put it on, you're like, that feels like a greasy oil. This really is a nice dry oil. And I like to just lightly just mist it after I get out of the shower. And then I do whatever I have to do. And maybe I'll start doing my hair and I'll brush my teeth. And by just after a minute or two, it already begins to absorb into the skin. And it literally leaves the skin dry. Where some oils say dry and then you're like, hmm, I have like a nice sheen to the skin. So I'm not really a fan of that too much, but I really do love that Ahava dry oil. All right, this is an old, old favorite. We're talking pre-blogging days is how much I've loved, is how long I've loved this. It's the Kiehl's Creme Decor. Now, if you are a Kiehl's fan or you've used the line before, I'm sure that you're, then you're familiar with the Creme Decor line. It is one of their key lines in their entire collection out of hair, body, face, and the reason why it's so great and why I really enjoy it, the scent is kind of like a, a rich buttery scent, but it's, 
it's unisex. So men can use it, women can use it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It's great for the summer, it's great for the winter. It's just one of those body lotions that pretty much everyone loves when they use. And it comes also in like a whipped texture and a body scrub and a moisturizing body wash, which is amazing. I always stick with the classic, though I have a few of the whipped ones and I have had those over the years, but I just love the classic. All right, this is a newer favorite and I felt I just had to mention, even though we're not talking self tanners or whatnot, but this is a body product and this is truly my favorite self tanner right now. And it's the Erin Gradual Tan for face and body. I actually have another self tanner that I've been trying and really enjoying, but this one I've been using for even longer. And it's, it is not for those that want like a deep, rich, bronzy glow. It is for those of us that are very fair and want just like a hint of color. And, but I do, you still have to exfoliate with this because even though it's very, very faint, the color that it develops, I will still get patchy if I don't exfoliate properly, like in between using this. So that's my little key with that. But I am literally down to the last bit and I have to get another one because I absolutely adore it. Though I am testing out another self tanner that I'm really enjoying right now. That's just as, it's a little bit deeper than the Erin, but not to the point where I'm like, eek, you know, where I'm like a whole other shade and you can see it all over my hands and feet and everything. Not cute. All right, let's talk, let's do some body scrubs. The Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub. It's the Sweet Lime scent. Oh, I love this stuff. I love it because a lot of body scrubs, I mean, I love the Fresh Sugar Body Scrub, the brown sugar one. I've used that for years. I don't have one currently at this time, but I use that like pre-blogging. But it would leave my shower literally like a hazard. Like the oils would stay in the shower for days and days. And that's the only thing that I struggle with body scrubs because I love oily body scrubs because they leave my skin so nourished and hydrated and soft. But then my shower is left like very dangerous for the next few days. This one from Soap and Glory, the texture is quite dense. So it, it doesn't leave the tub very oily afterwards, but it really does a great job of exfoliating the body. The next one is just one that I enjoy using. It's a good body scrub, but the scent and the experience just makes it one of my favorites and it is the fresh cocoa exfoliant and I'm sure you guys have heard about this one by fresh they did the it's you know cocoa and it is so much fun to use it's a really great body scrub it smells just like chocolate but I will warn you that afterwards your tub looks like a chocolate massacre it's absolutely hysterical like Make sure you rinse your tub out really well because you'll look around and if anyone comes in to shower or bathe after you, they're going to be like, you just murdered like an M&M or something. It's absolutely crazy how the dark, I mean, it's, you get that whenever you're using a body scrub because this is dark, dark brown, it just goes everywhere. But it's still a fantastic body scrub, which I really enjoy. All right. I started using an exfoliating like acid body lotion years ago in a glycolic acid based because I use glycolic acid on my face. It's great at retexturizing, breaking up, um, pig, you know, hyperpigmentation. It's great for helping to moisturize as well, but I don't use the products on my face for my body. And I really wanted to try some acid products for my body. So I tried one a few years ago and I really enjoyed it. And then recently I've been testing this one from Kane and Austin that I really enjoy. So it's a little bit hard to see with the light, but it is their retexturized glycolic complex treatment lotion. And this has 15% glycolic acid in it. The great thing about using glycolic acid body lotion is it really, if you have really kind of stubborn places like elbows, knees, back of your ankles or heels, a, body lotion with acid in it really will help to really break down and help to retexturize those areas. So I use this, I've been using it like once every two weeks. And another little tip, do not use it after you've shaved or exfoliated because your skin will burn so badly. So that's the only thing you have to make sure that your skin has not been recently exfoliated or shaved because the acid in it will just, oh, it's awful. I made that mistake. I'm like, what, how bad can it be? And I was like, oh, like rinsing it off. So this 
I've really been enjoying, but come the fall and winter, I will like completely ramp up my use of this body lotion because in the summertime, I mean, if I'm, it does some exfoliating and it's helping to break up any pigmentation or whatnot. And then I'm going to go back out in the sun and it's going to completely cancel each other out. So I've been using it like once every two weeks, just on kind of more stubborn areas. And afterwards, like my elbows or knees or heels are so smooth and soft. So I can't wait to begin using it full all over come fall and winter. All right. Another great hydrator for the body. This is by Ling skincare. And I have talked about her hydrator for the face. She has a spa in New York in union square. Best facial of my life ever was there. And so this is, I almost liken it to an essence for the body. It is so hydrating because it's thicker than a typical water. Let's say like a, a, a regular liquid, but it's not a lotion. So I kind of pour it into my hands and then kind of press it into the skin. It's, it is like that this Vaseline um, spray, but like taken up a notch when it comes to hydration. So it really helps to, like it says, it is just a drink for your skin. And I even can layer this with a body cream on top or just use this alone. But when my skin feels really tight and irritated and like itchy, putting this into my hands and like literally pressing it into the skin, it's absolutely, it does wonders. All right. I've used these shower gels years ago and pre-blogging, and I can't believe I never talked about them while blogging. So I recently tried this one. I actually just put it in my shower and I was like, I need to talk about this. This is a new scent and it's the Molten Brown um, Bath and Shower Gel. And this is the new one, they're Lily of the Valley. So it smells like Lily. So it's much more floral than I typically go for, but I enjoy it in a shower gel. Like the reason why I love the Molten Brown Shower Gels, first of all, the scents are somewhat girly, somewhat masculine, some are unisex, and they, kind of walk the middle, they kind of straddle the middle when it comes to the scent that was left afterwards. So some shower gels, it's like you can't even smell it on yourself afterwards and some are too fragrant. This strikes like a nice balance. So afterwards my skin has just a hint of the scent that I used on it. It doesn't foam up too much. It's just, I love these as hostess gifts. I love to give Molten Brown bath and shower gels as hostess gifts. Um, if, you know, if I have someone stay with me, I would put one in the bathroom for them to use rather than like a bar of soap. I just find that people tend to like the scents from them. And like I said, they make great ones that, you know, for men, for women, unisex, it's great. So this one, like I said, is new. It's the Lily of the Valley. And it's, if you love lilies, it is your jam. All right. The L'Occitane Almond Milk Collection. So we've got the Delicious Paste which is delicious. And we've got the milk concentrate, which is delicious. Now why people went crazy about these, these were my best of beauty. This is like both our second um, jars already. That's how much I love these. The paste, first of all, is a body scrub, but it's a paste. So it's different and thicker than any type of body scrubs I've ever tried before. It's like this thick, rich paste. So in addition to getting a great exfoliation, because it's so rich, it really helps to, you know, envelop and moisturize and soothe the skin as well. Now the milk concentrate, it's a mixture of kind of a gel lotion cream all brought together. Very hydrating, very soothing, uh, very moisturizing, and just such a cool, unique texture. And the smell is out of this world. Okay. The next ones are kind of a little, I, I, I tend to have a thing for like teeny bopper type fragrances. And I find that this is by Mark, um, Mark by Avon. I find that their scents are a little bit more young and, but I love them. So I love their body products more for the scents. And they're also really great body products, but they're, this is the newest one they came out with. I was so excited because I've been using their Naked Love. I believe that they launched like last year, Body Butter. I just love the scent. It's absolutely one of my favorite scents. It's like a really fresh peach scent. This one um, that I've been loving smells like summer. It's like coconut and sweet and a little bit fruity. Absolutely love this one. And the reason, I mean, I have to mention them because I have so many of their body products and I love the scents of them. And then they make a body mist. So I haven't used, prior to using them, I haven't used a body mist since like, we're talking 
early 20s, late teens, when I would use like Victoria's Secret Mist, which still makes some really good sense. And I love them because they're not a, a perfume, but they're just like a body mist. And they come out with new ones pretty much every season. And they're some of my favorite body products of my whole collection. And they're really great body products, like I said, but the scents are just really like a winner for me every time. Okay. The, this is a new brand that I just recently tried and I've been loving and so much so that I like had it on my dresser and Stan has been like, all of a sudden I come in the day and I'm like, are you using my body lotion? So he's been loving this as well. It's by Marlo and this is their sensitive skin body lotion. And it is really lightweight, but great height, very hydrating, but it's fragrance free, which is really, really nice. I've just been kind of I just, it was sent to me in the mail and I started using it and I was like, oh, this feels great. And then he's using it and he loves it because there's no scent to it. And it just does a great job of moisturizing. So this has been, um, we're already like a quarter of the way down. I mean, I have a ton of body products and it's, you know, I just immediately started using it and loved it. So I felt it was definitely necessary to mention. And then the final one, Total Decadence, both in scent, both in texture it's the Erin Rose de Grasse body cream. You guys know I've talked about her Rose de Grasse fragrance as one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It is a rose scent. I'm not a huge floral person, was never a huge rose person. Then I tried that fragrance and everything changed. So her body cream is rich and decadent and just like whipped silk. And I love the scent of it and it's just a real treat to use. So if you're looking for, if you don't mind scented and you're looking for something that looks gorgeous on your vanity, that smells amazing, that feels decadent and luxurious to use, this is the body cream that you buy. Um, I've also tried the Clay de Peau, like the brightening body cream, which I really love. It's just as decadent, but I love the scent of the Erin Rose de Grasse. I have the shower gel, which I really love. But it's definitely like just a, it's a nice shower gel. I use it more for the scent, but the body cream, I could not do this video without talking about. I was like, it is so decadent and it makes me, just, just makes me feel very fancy when using it. All right, so those are all my body products that I love. I try to, like I said, I really wanted to pare it down. I mean, I could talk about body products for like days and days and days, but I really wanted to focus on the ones that I felt were the most effective that covered a wide range of fragrance, non-fragrance, fun, and, you know, crazy, super easy and quick to use, ones that are extremely effective at, you know, hydrating, moisturizing, exfoliating body creams. You know, I try to cover the whole range and find something. Oh, and self-tanner. Hmm, had to throw that in there. I will be doing a summer beauty essentials blog post, not video, but blog post on some um, products that I've really been enjoying that just focused on summer. So stay tuned for that, but I will link everything in order um, of the body products I talked about down below in the description box. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.